David. I've built a model of Captain Torres and Three Strikes. Based on your hypothesis and mission parameters from the past, I ran a precision combat simulation. But it failed. Bummer. Why didn't it work? Reasons in sensuous order are... 1. Your hypothesis is trash. 2. The parameters you gave me are um, trash. Did I do something to tick you off? 3. Captain Torres is a singularity. So the values diverge. But what about this one? 4. Three strikes is a singularity. That's outside the confidence interval. The possibility that it's one, two, or three is 99%. What? Significance is high. Hmm. Try this. This is Three Strikes data before he's assigned to the LRSSG. gathering its remaining naval forces at Anchorhead Bay. Apparently, they're even bringing in ships from the Mothball fleet. This is probably to reinforce their naval power in preparation for the showdown in Farbanti. We've received intel that the Alicorn will also be joining them. From which source, Brigadier General? There's a possibility the Alicorn's former crew have been tasked with sabotage. Your job is to analyze the enemy's weaponry. From now on, speak only when authorized. I don't hear a response. May I be authorized to speak first, sir? <laughs> when you're done, I'll be talking to your superiors. Here's your mission. LRSSG is to raid Anchorhead, carry out airstrikes on Anchor Bay to the north, and Dockyuk Bay to the south, inflicting all possible damage. If we can strip the port of its naval functions, we can also prevent the submarine from joining forces. The area around Anchorhead is Erosion territory. To delay hostile detection, you will sortie in small numbers and make your way in at super low altitudes. Small sortie. Who's going? Count, Lanza, Hoosian, and Trigger. Four aircraft from Strider Squadron will be deployed. Well, all right, I got this. To cover our lack of numbers, we're giving you plenty of opportunities to resupply. Look here. We've set up multiple return lines. Make full use of them to resupply and change our minds. Also note that the enemy will not be able to mount a defense immediately after detecting it. Use this window to destroy high threat targets. That should make things much easier for you. It should also raise the survival rate. Survival rate, huh? The element of surprise and resupplying are the key. Beyond that, I just need a couple of pilots who will stick to my orders. We don't need an ace to succeed. Got anything to say? Good. Brigadier General. That is all. David, go on. Let me share the career of Mateus Torres, captain of the submarine Alicorn. Does anyone know how his people hailed him? A bit unfair to provide us with next to no hints, don't you think? <laughs> Fair enough. The hero of Cumberth Harbor is the answer. He was a captain of the battleship Tanagir at the time of the Continental War. It led Egir fleet, the Invincible Armada. But when the fleet was destroyed at Cumberth Harbor, so was his ship. Yet, he's the hero? He was able to bring most of his crew home with accurate damage control and precise evacuation orders. Then, there's the accident with the Alicorn. Many believe that if they stay with him, they'll live. Transfer from surface to underwater is unusual. However, considering his skill and reputation, along with the fact that the Alicorn is no ordinary submarine, it all makes sense. It'll be a difficult mission to carry out with four aircraft. Still, I'd like to add one more to the mission conditions. Like, you want to make it even harder? I want a 100% survival rate for the sword. Any other number and the mission will be considered a failure.
can almost touch the water. Altitude restriction lifted. Begin up. The food at this party is served buffet style. Pick whatever dish you like before the host mounts a resistance. Wilco, I'll need their hearts out. Sorry, Trigger, but the choosy targets are all mine. Emergency! Four bogeys! ETA, two minutes! Nice, Trigger. There's no enemy movement yet. Gobble up all the high-value targets. Forget about your manners. Never had any of those to begin with. Had to stay behind last time. This is gonna be a walk in the park. It's a good warm-up to get back in the game. Here is General Clemens. About three strikes. You sure we'll get a positive result this time? Yes, Lieutenant General Shepard. Operation Dominoes is going as planned. Percent of observed enemy forces destroyed. Great, keep it up. We ain't done eating yet. Ain't that right, Trigger? If they're gone, that means we have less than half our forces left. Resistance from enemy air defense is confirmed. Keep on dining. Just don't pay for it. Righto. Begin firing Sam's. They think they've already won. Now's our chance. Now time for a counter strike. Shot brought by air-to-ground missiles. The bomb wizards are fine. We'll wipe them out with one hit. Sir, there's a few of them, but these are damage to the port and ships. Enemy sailors will accept this report. Do whatever it takes to shoot them down. Vehicle 12 was hit and it's on fire. Shit. Only half our vehicles are working. All right. We've wiped out most of their forces in the urban area. I still see some ships moving. Trigger, let's go for those. There's no need to go through the whole menu. Focus on the juicier targets. Watch that. Here we go, Trigger. How many ships in port are still operational? Trigger, get on the return line if you need to. There's no need to wait until you've emptied your weapons bay. If we can get up here, we'll be able to save a lot of boys in Farbanti. Okay. Why has the enemy taken so little damage? You drop a bomb line and hit something. Prioritize high threat targets and groups of hostiles. Be generous with your special weaponry as well. Lieutenant General Shemire, we have a status report. 50% of the enemy forces have been neutralized. Make a 
Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Make your landing check. Too fast. Lower airspeed. Bank left. Raise your nose, you're too low. Too fast, lower airspeed. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. The runway is clear. They're shooting from beyond the horizon. That's why they need the UAV for terminal guidance. We'll data link the predicted explosion radius from now on. Damn it. You're telling me to leave my teammates behind? Ocean, head back. I want that 100% survival rating. <sighs> Roger that. I'm pulling out. We got the rest covered. I'm counting on you. Strider 2, Fox 2. Both gun bandit, attacking. Enemy has a lot! Evade! Bombs away. This one for our brothers. Let's try one. Box two. Target hit. Detecting shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Maintain course to return for resupply. <laughs> Shell in flight. 
10 seconds to contact. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Make your landing check. Strider 1, this is Control Tower. Shooting us from beyond our range!
Losing shell in flight. Ten seconds to contact. Contact imminent. This one's mine. Trigger! Fly however you want. I'll be right after you. I'll be right there with you. I promise. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. Projectile detected. Ten seconds to contact. Trigger, change frequency. Your game's dropping on us as we speak. Right. Now it's just the two of us on the line. Those damn bats are looking for a pincer attack. If one comes for my ass, you take him down. They seem to have a crush on you, but I'll just watch me work my charms on them. Let's get the last range. He's getting in my way. Go for it. You're PMC, are you? That's why you got connections with the Ocean military. You'll have to shoot us out of the sky if you want the answer. <laughs> there ain't nothing I can't handle. I'll show you. disappeared from our radar. At that altitude, it likely has crashed. Serves them right. <sighs> yes. The problem has been eliminated. Pitch angle at plus two degrees. We're so Meet us at the drop-off point. Three strikes has removed all strangler erosion forces. That didn't make for a good sideshow. I have no doubt that the plan to save 10 million lives will lead Aruji at their true victory. Stop thinking so small. It's salvation on a far grander scale. We've acquired important intel from the mission. For example, the shells from long-range anti-air fire came in on depressed trajectories. Look, the estimated energy output of the railgun is 500 megajoules at least. Fired at minimum energy trajectory, range is over 3,000. They hit a powerful rail cannon aside from their main guns. It's almost like Stonehenge. A mobile Stonehenge. And also this. 
The Alicorn was in harbor at Anchorhead for approximately 10 minutes. They couldn't have loaded SLBMs. They loaded something smaller. Smaller? What is smaller and yet a powerful weapon? Huh. Tactical nukes. Close. The answer is tactical nuclear shells. Nuclear shells? No way. Hey, hey, he got that question right. Nah, I missed the shell part. Quiet. They'll likely attack our bases on the East Coast. Their target's Ored, the Ocean capital. They want a nuclear war? Here's a question. What's a situation where nuclear deterrence doesn't work? Quiz guy, I've had enough of this. Oh, only if terrorists have the nukes. Correct. Damn, Scald. Hey, I'm good at trivia games. But we're after an erosion submarine, not terrorists. No, he's right. HQ tells me Eruja's justification is to the Alicorn mutiny. As such, the Eruja military cannot be held responsible for the submarine's actions. Damn. So they intend on dropping a nuke on the Ocean capital of Ulred. Here's a question for you, Analyst. Just exactly who are we fighting? Correct term is terrorist, or irregular military, but I have a different name for them. An enemy to be stopped at all costs. Correct. Illusion, no, stop it! Hey, chill. Illusion, stand down, sit! Shit, my cola. The fleet at Anchorhead was eliminated, and we prevented the submarine from joining forces. The unidentified aircraft were shot down too. The mission was a complete success. Complete success, my ass! Brigadier General, it sure seemed to me like the Bats knew you pretty damn well. You seem to be confused. Report in for a medical check. We'll decide if you're still fit for service based on the examinations. Cut it! That's enough! Get the MP! He's right. Get the MP. Vice Chairman Edwards of the Joint Chiefs of Staff? The Alicorn slipped into Anchorhead Bay after the mission was completed, using the confusion for cover. It resupplied quickly and escaped unharmed. Their goal was not to join forces. It was to resupply using the window we created by chasing away the Erusion forces. We did their bidding, albeit unknowingly. But the problem runs deeper than our lack of tactical acumen. Analyst North, explain for us. Of the crew caught in the submarine accident, 330 men made it back alive. Of them, 300 are still in the sub today. Our intel has led us to believe that some or all of the 30 men who left the sub are now working as agents for the Alicorn. Sabotage, espionage, cyber propaganda, dissemination of false intel. Brigadier General, do you recognize the name Edgar Saxon, or Zool, as he used to go by? He is a former member of the Alicorn's crew, and your source of intel. You are a fool, Brigadier General Clemens. Not only that, the radio communications during the mission suggest you are a traitor. Sir, if you check with Lieutenant General Shepard, you'll understand that this is all just a misunderstanding. The Lieutenant General claims you were responsible for handling all aspects of the mission. Now, let me say that again. Get the MP. No need for that. Piece of shit. 